Good morning music for the many. Here is the instructional video on making an instrument for our next session with Ellie and myself. Uh, this one is going to be based on a Brazilian instrument called the Kashishi, which is a shaking instrument in the percussion family and it looks something like this. It's a woven uh, shaker and it has a hard bottom and they sound like this. Here we go, so the kashishis. Right, so if we're gonna make our kashishis, this is what we'll need. We need two plastic bottles from your recycling bin. And then we need a cup of rice. Yeah. We need some sellotape, some scissors, and our tops, our bottle tops, okay? That's all we need for this. So. To start, we might need an adult to help. In fact, I recommend having an adult at hand because this little bit is the tricky, tricky bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna squeeze the top about here. Oh, and before we move on, make sure that the bottles are bone dry. They need to be very, very dry. So in fact, that might be easier once we cut them open. So I'm gonna make a, a bend about there. Okay, and this is where your adult really uh, be useful okay because this is the tough bit we're gonna have to cut through the plastic and it might you might find it very hard oh it's not as hard as I thought actually this one but some bottles can be very very tough so you're gonna be very careful as we cut through make a nice straight line there we go so we've got the start of our kashishi there and I've got a little bit of water. I've tried washing them out, but you might find them a little bit, a little bit damp. So we need to make sure we dry this. Okay. So let's dry that. I'll be back in a second. Okay. So we've got our dried bottom. We're now going to go to our next plastic bottle and we're going to do the same, but I think we're going to have a slightly different height. So what am I going to go for? I'm going to go for a slightly longer shaker because then we'll get two different tones, ever so slightly different tones for our shakers. So I'm going to go slightly longer, so I'm going to bend it a little bit higher. There we go. And then we'll cut again. So this is where an adult would be useful. And cut a nice straight line. Mind your fingers. Here we go. It's tough. There we go. Almost through. There we go. So we've got our two shaker bases give it a nice dry out because the rice is now going to go in these and if it's ever so slightly damp the rice is going to get sticky and it's not going to be very good at shaking okay so we've got to be careful for that now we need our mug of rice and we're not going to put in too much we're just going to put in maybe a quarter so perhaps a half a cup maybe even a, a quarter of a cup of rice okay so what we're going to do is we're going to pour our rice into the bottle, okay? We're going to be very careful. We don't want to put too much in. Maybe just a little bit more than that. That there, okay? And we don't have to use rice, of course. We can use uh, sort of any sort of dried pulses, uh, dried chickpeas would give a very different sound. Uh, anything that we know that might shake, even some pasta would be good, okay? So we've got those, and that's about enough. Maybe just a touch more in there. Okay, so there we go, we've got our shakers ready. And now what we want to do, this is where maybe an adult would be really useful again. Okay, we're gonna get our sellotape ready. Get that prepared. And then we're gonna spend it, so it looks like that. And if you're feeling really strong, we can bend that top over so that the rice doesn't come out. 
Okay, it's quite tough. So this is where an adult could be handy. And then we're going to try and sellotape that top. There you go. Sellotape it. Bend that down so the rice doesn't escape. There you go. And you might want to go around a few times to keep it nice and sealed. And then with our scissors, pop that off. And we've got There's one. Get this one done. I'm going to bend that top. There we go. And our sellotape. Find the end. This is the hardest part of this whole project, is finding the end of the sellotape. Oh, I did well there. There you go. Bend that over. Get that nice and tight. Go around a few times. There we go, and we have got our two special shakers, also known as Kashishis. And a famous Kashishi player is a Brazilian called Ayato Moreira. Okay, and I'll write it down maybe here, maybe there. Yeah. So let's this listen to my Kashishis. special kashishis. Now we've got a few little extra things from our bottles and Ayato Moreira played with a famous trumpet player called Miles Davis and look we have got our own mini trumpet here so what you need to do especially if it's come out of your recycling bin is to give this a good clean okay so sing happy birthday twice while you're washing this with washing up liquid. Give it a nice dry because that's our mouthpiece. <clears throat> and I apologise, Miles Davis, but here we go. Here's some trumpet playing. Blow my raspberry. instrument that's three instruments can we make one more instrument out of this one of course we've got another trumpet but I had an idea that I'm gonna make a hold in I'm making a, a an accessory that you can wear okay so I'm gonna cut here and I'm gonna start moving towards the top of the bottle okay this is where an adult is very handy again okay so I'm gonna Slowly cut towards that top. Okay, it's quite tricky getting there. Okay, we're getting towards the top. Taking all that excess plastic off. There we go. We've got something that looks a bit more like this. Now, you want to have a nice clean cut here, so an adult would be useful again. I'm going to cut all the way along the neck. Okay, there we go. It's tricky. You've got to be careful because that plastic can be a little bit sharp. So an adult is recommended. And get in there. It's tough plastic there. Okay. There we go. I've now got this. Okay. And that looks like a very nice ring. But that ring doesn't won't play very very much. So what I now need, I need my two Recycle Me bottle tops and I'm going to make a tiny, tiny shaker. So I've got my rice. This is only going to need maybe 8 or even 10 grains of rice. I'm going to be very careful. That's what it needs. A tiny, tiny amount. Can you see that? A tiny, tiny amount. I'm going to get that bit. I'm going to put the bottle top on top. So now we've got this tiny minute shaker. And then we need an adult to help you find the end of the sellotape. Oh, I can't find it. Where can I? Where is it? Here it is. Yes! Find that sellotape. And this is tricky because if you 
drop them, all the vice is going to go everywhere. So an adult or an extra set of hands might be useful. Very carefully tape the two bottle tops together. There we go. And you might need to put a bit of cellar tape all the way around to seal the rice in. So I'm going to chop that and then do another piece of cellar tape all the way around there to keep that rice in. Oh, and I've lost the t I've lost the cellar tape again. This is great television, isn't it? Is that it? I've got it, I've got it. There we go. So, pop that on. Go all the way around. We've now got our mini mini shaker. We can now attach that to our ring. So it would look like this. It does need more sellotape. the ring and then add your shaker onto the ring wrap it around might go twice here we go we have got a very fashionable accessory it's the ring shaker so now I can play, what should I play? I can play my conga. And as I play, I'm also shaking as well. There we go, right. I hope you enjoy that. And I look forward to seeing all your instruments next week. Okay, bye.